The SS Normandy was a grand ocean liner that served during the 1930s. When the World War II began, it was stuck in New York Harbor and later caught fire and capsized. The cause of the fire and the loss of the ship during wartime remains a mystery. The SS Normandy was designed to be luxurious, with millions of dollars allocated to her construction to make her the most luxurious and modern ocean liner in the world. The designers used a combination of the ART Deco and Streamline Modern styles to ensure the interior of the ship was grand. Normandy's construction was closely followed by the public and media, who saw her as a symbol of France's ability to be a big player in the ocean liner industry. She was also an object of national pride, as she was built at a French shipbuilding yard with homegrown parts. With a weight of 68,350 tons when loaded, Normandy could travel at a top speed of 37.1 mph. She had modern amenities, including one of the first ever radar systems equipped by a commercial vessel. Her grand size allowed her to house a crew of 1,345, as well as 1,042 passengers, the majority of them first class. The SS Normandy officially began service in 1935 and was the fastest and largest passenger vessel at that time. This was due to the significant investment in her construction and her turboelectric propulsion, allowing her to cross the Atlantic Ocean in a record 4.14 days. Despite her luxury, the ship operated during the Great Depression, making it difficult for many potential passengers to afford trips. Nevertheless, she completed 139 westbound journeys across the Atlantic, with notable passengers including Ernest Hemingway, Marlene Dietrich, James Stewart, the Von Trapp family, Walt Disney, and Fred Astaire. The SS Normandy, docked at Pier 88 in New York Harbor, was interned by the United States government at the outbreak of World War II. The Department of the Treasury ordered 150 U.S. Coast Guardsmen to board the ocean liner to prevent sabotage attempts. Five days after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, the U.S. government removed Normandy's French crew and seized the vessel, as Vichy France was working alongside the Germans. Normandy was given to the U.S. Navy and converted into a troop transport, named USS Lafayette, AP-53. The conversion process took longer than anticipated due to the ship's size. A fire broke out aboard the USS Lafayette at 2.30 p.m. on February 9, 1942, when sparks from a welding torch ignited a pile of life vests. The fire quickly spread across the varnished wood internal structure, as the fire protection system and internal pump system were not active due to ongoing conversion efforts. Despite efforts to douse the flames, the fire continued to spread. Fire officials arrived approximately 15 minutes after the fire began, but were unable to temper the spread. The wind and lack of accessibility meant crews could do little more than load Lafayette with water, causing her to list. Just over four hours later, officials deemed the fire under control, and by 8 every hour p.m. began winding down operations. However, water was still causing her to list, despite counter-flooding efforts, and she capsized around 2.45 a.m. the following morning. The fire aboard the USS Lafayette sparked rumors of German sabotage and claims from organized crime. Alfred Hitchcock's film Saboteur added to the suspicions. A congressional investigation ultimately concluded that the fire was caused by a lack of command structure, rules violations, a poor conversion plan, lack of coordination, and general carelessness. Removed from the Naval Vessel Register After the USS Lafayette capsized, her superstructure was stripped and righted. She was given the designation APV-4, indicating her new role as an aircraft and troop transport. However, the plan to continue her conversion was abandoned due to the expensive cost and the damage from the fire. Lafayette remained laid up until the end of World War II. In October 1945, she was removed from the naval vessel register without ever sailing under the American flag. 
She was eventually sold for scrap in 1946 and officially broken down in 1948.